Go. So, okay, let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. You started off as the politician's spoiled daughter found some random dude washed up on a beach in a space suit who took off in a fucking ambulance and the next day showed up in school and threatened to unalive you. And you thought, that one. <laughs> okay. So then shit happens. You come to find out your daddy ain't your daddy. You are, in fact, the princess of a now defunct kingdom. And you didn't know it at the time. You got a brother who decided, I'm going to get it back because fuck you. <laughs> well, he got it back, which is great. But you only found out that he was your brother when he was fighting your obsession while they were piloting 20-story tall robots. <laughs> so then you decide, oh, you know what? I'm going to take up my dead family's entire political position of total pacifism and revive my kingdom. That'll be great. And then you lost your kingdom again <laughs> because you decided you were going to take on the problems of the universe at 15. And your entire stance by this point was telling guys that have been fighting longer than you've been alive to put down their weapons. By the way, they're all giant robots and talk about their issues. <laughs> and the other reason the other people you decided to take on is a organization that models itself after the English aristocracy being led by old white guys <laughs> I mean they liked you except for one asshole but you lost your position because of somebody they liked better <laughs> 